I know that both Rachel and Vienna are in the beginning of their careers and as once all of us were <laughs> at one point or another. And I think that the best piece of advice that I could give someone who is starting out new in their career is to be intentional. I'm a big John Maxwell fan, so Intentional Living is one of the many great books that he has, but being intentional about what you're doing, you know, everything and in between, between building those relationships, between saying, where do I want to be? I know we've had that conversation this afternoon as we've discussed, what, what are your goals? What are your strengths? Where do you want to grow? Where do you see yourself in the big impact in the big picture and being intentional with that? That also goes into building your credibility and your experience. Can you find those opportunities if they're not immediately available to you within your reach or your organization? Are you going outside of your organization volunteering in certain roles? I know that's one of the steps that I took as I've moved up in my career and in my path here at the college was in my spare time. I would sit on the board of a nonprofit that was business minded and dedicated to giving back to the community. This year, I'm lucky enough to be chairwoman as I was president last year, and it's helped me receive awards, helped me build my leadership experience along the way, but that's been able to tie all into where I'm at now. And so finding those additional experiences to be successful and being intentional in your pathway is extremely important. Alex, that really resonates with me, that intentionality piece. One of my first mentors had a, a piece of advice that she gave me that I give to others that is sort of an extension of that and intentionality in terms of who you surround yourself with matters, both professionally, but perhaps even more importantly, personally as well. And thinking through, you want people in your circle who are encouraging you, inspiring you, supporting you, and your ability to be successful professionally requires that you have those influences in your professional circle. But Vienna, to your point too, around it takes a village, personally, it's so important as well. And and the, the folks that are helping raise you up and, and providing that support, even if it's just a, as simple as helping you pick yourself back up if something's not going well, or telling you, yes, you can do it when you're not quite sure you can. Or in my case, often with my husband, it's like, I'm not gonna be able to do pickup. And so I know it's a last minute thing, like I need you to do it and I need you not to make me feel guilty about it. And he's wonderful about doing like, I've got you, I've got your back. And so being able to be really intentional about who is in your world and that you have yourself surrounded by the right kind of people to help you be successful. The other comment that I would make too, which sort of goes along is um, being able to communicate. Um, you know, a lot of times people are, you know, something may upset you at work or, you know, something may be going on at home that maybe is affecting your work um, and being able to communicate with your with your manager or, you know, even if it's not your manager, because maybe something is going on with that manager, but, you know, even a friend at work. So, you know, they know that something is going, you know, going on with you. Um, I have the same, um, and I learned, I only learned this like maybe about five years ago, you know, when I'm uncomfortable, whether it's, you know, I have to deliver bad news or whether I'm just uncomfortable about talking about the subject. And quite honestly, I have taken this to all of my children and my husband too. Um, I always start my conversation with, I have to have a courageous conversation. And that lets the person on the other side know that either I'm discussing something difficult or it's something that I'm really uncomfortable with. And so that they're more open in listening to me, you know, and what I'm saying. So, you know, I, I would encourage people entering their career to find out what that, what that little word might be, you know, that other people are aware of what you're, um, you know, that you may be uncomfortable talking about something because even, you know, even at my age, it's still tough to have tough conversations, you know, with people and opening it up that way really makes 
the conversation go a lot easier because now they've let their guard down. Okay, she's uncomfortable, I'm uncomfortable, you know, we're gonna get through this. So, you know, my piece of um, advice for people is that whole communication, you can't keep it in because then you're just like, oh, I'm just gonna leave, you know, and I'm just gonna move on. So it, it's a lot easier to learn to communicate than it is worrying about moving on and, you know, looking for a new role in another organization.